let's talk about this. Can protocol-oriented programming replace object-oriented programming? It depends how you define each, because usually when someone says object-oriented programming, what they mean is classes in inheritance, <laughs> right? And if that's the meaning you're giving to object-oriented programming, then yes, you can replace classes with protocols. Like we show, you can replace abstract classes with protocols and you can use, you can, you can conform to a protocol with a struct. You don't need a class, right? So you can replace classes and inheritance with protocols, but that's not how I see or how I learned object-oriented programming. For me, object-oriented programming is not classes and inheritance because classes in the first object-oriented languages, they didn't have classes of inheritance. This was added afterwards. So those are language features, not object-oriented programming. At least the way I learned it, the way I see it. So it's not about classes and inheritance. For me, object-oriented programming is about message passing, like passing messages through abstract interfaces. Exactly. Right? So it creates modularity, like a architectural boundaries. It's about inversion of control. Hmm. So for me, you can achieve all of this with protocols in Swift because you have these extensions. So for me, protocol objective, protocol oriented programming and object oriented programming is the same thing, but using different features, language of the features to achieve message passing, modularity, inversion of control. So I see them as equivalent in what you're trying to achieve. You can use those two, but they are different features. Those are language features and not actual I mean, they call it protocol oriented programming because it probably marketing. <laughs> it sounds cool, you know, pop. Yeah. For me, they're, they're the same thing. They're achieving the same thing. Message passing, modularity, inversion of control with different language features. So it exactly. depends how you see it. If you're talking about classes and inheritance, yes, you can replace with protocols and conformances and extensions. But if you talk about object oriented programming, for me, they are the same. Object oriented programming and protocol oriented programming are the same in what they achieve.